Oh yeah, it's looking good down there. It's looking good down there. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of missed fishing around this area for a good while. But you see, last time I actually came here to clear water. I came here with my ex-wife, you feel me? Man, and there are all those memories, you know, all that stuff, right? Ah, <sighs> But once I kind of thought about the species, the fish, I was like, screw the memories, we need to go down there <laughs> and do some fishing, right? No secrets, folks. Double high-low rig, pieces of shrimp. We're going to be doing some of the fishing that I love. Ooh, got a hit already, man. We're going to be doing some of my favorite type of saltwater fishing today. Just dropping a few pieces of shrimp here and there, use some different techniques, right? And try to get some more species for the 2023 a species marathon let's do it got the hits already is it fish on is it the first fish of the day coming up over here i think so is it going to be a new one for 2023 dad i don't know oh yeah oh yeah man it is one of the most insignificant fish for the anglers out there right really bait but it is a new species for me for 2023. That's right, dude. We got the pink fish right here, AKA the Lagodon homboides, which I have to say this size in particular, dude, perfect size for live lining. No joke. Beautiful, look at that, huh? Just a tiny piece of pink fish on a circle hook. Right now, I'm not really going to live line it. I want to focus a little bit more on the ultralight. Don't need to cast this too far either, you know? Right there is good. It is pretty deep around here along this channel. There are certain species of catfish down there that I haven't caught yet. Saltwater species of catfish. I mean, you just never know, right? Maybe a skate or a ray is going to show up. So I'm going to set my drag a little bit loose over here. I'm going to use my book bag as kind of like a rod holder and to make sure that my <laughs> make sure that my rod absolutely doesn't fly in i'm gonna put my bucket right on top over here boom just like that you see that that's my <laughs> traveling setup right yeah see we got small bites over there it's, it's fine it's fine i'm gonna leave that rod over there for now that's my second rod and then i'm going to focus on the ultralight a little bit more along the pilings perfect environment for a little epf swim Pinkfish? Hi, why are there so many pinkfish, dude? Everywhere. I have to switch to yours, man. Don't take me wrong, catching the first pinkfish is a lot of fun. You add it to the 2023 species list, you know, but dude, they're called pinkfish for a reason, right? All their things are like noodles. They can hurt you very easily not to mention after you start catching this is like my eighth of the day you know this is no good man there's like a huge school of pinfish all the way from over here going to the pylons of the bridge i've shifted uh, from from shrimp to fish bites they're still terrorizing even my fish bites i think i'm gonna change to lures man tie on a little epf a swim see if we can catch something different Oh boy, is that pinfish? No, bro. You've got to be kidding me. I've caught a sand perch. I mean, don't take me wrong. It's a different species, but... Bro, this is a sand perch, the, the plectrum for Molson. Oh, the EPF is... All right, all right. Uh, it's not a pinfish. Ladies and gentlemen, you really can't make that up. Sand perch on the EPF is swim. Unbeknownst to a lot of people though, 
I do keep an EPF swim folder on my Smug Mug fish photo database, right? With all the different species of fish in the past that I have caught on the EPF swim. Now the sand perch is not really new for 2023. I've caught the species in Brazil before this year, but for that, huh? Well, you can't really look. It's it's under the grass now, but come on, buddy, go, go. You're free to go. Well, okay, it's just chilling under the sand here, but that way, that way, it will eventually go. So there you have a second species of the day, little sand perch on the EPF swim. Should I continue with the EPF swim? Should I maybe switch to a cast master, something a little bit shinier, right? I don't know. The pink fish, they follow the EPF swim too. All right, you know what? I'm gonna give a few more casts with the EPF swim. Who knows, right? Maybe a lizard fish is going to show up. You never know, sandy environment. And then if nothing works, I mean, if the EPF swim doesn't really work that way, I'm gonna switch to a cast master. Come on, cast master. Oh, what are those? There are two very, very weird anchovy style fish down there. Dude, these are the moments that I remember that I forgot my sabiki back at home. That's awesome. That's a great feeling. My sabiki is <laughs> size, size 3 hook. That's, that's great. See the little anchovy style fish down there and realizing, yeah, my life is so busy doing the YouTube crap. But I barely had time to pack my stuff on time. I packed the morning of the flight. So I totally forgot my sabikis. Man, yeah, there's like only three of them though. Ay, 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 dude. That's rough to see. May have to buy a sabiki before the end of this trip. What is that? Did I snag something? No. No, wait, is it in the mouth though? Dude, it's in the mouth. It's in the mouth. Dude, it's in the mouth. It's in the mouth. It counts, dude. Another species for the 2023 species marathon, son. Albeit, not exactly the size I was looking for, but. And not on the EPF is win, but. <laughs> the lizard fish didn't show up. Uh, it's that type of day, you know, it's that type of day. What did EPF tell you all? I told you there was going to be an inshore lizard fish around this area. I just didn't expect, first and foremost, the beast to be this size. Look at this baby inshore lizard fish, the Synodus foetens. And I also did not expect this fish, seriously, to come on a Z Spenda, man. That is just to show you all how aggressive this little fella actually is, okay? All right, man, final view here of our inshore lizard fish. Sir, yes, sir. Three species over here so far. Yeah, look, that's how it is. You see it right there? That's how they stay in the same. Oh yeah, yeah, look, look at that, look at that. It's camouflaging already, dude. This is this is some rare stuff, you know. Yo, bro, you don't see this on YouTube every day. Did you see the? It flapped its wings a little bit, like doo -doo 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 -doo, you know the pectoral fins, right? And it just camouflaged with the sand. And slowly but surely, the color is going to change a little bit. And when it sees a sea spin, <laughs> when it sees a sea spender passing around, it's gonna dart from the sand upwards and grab it, right? Any type of little fish. So that's actually pretty cool, man. That is actually pretty cool. That one's healthy, good to go. Three species so far, 130 for the 2023 species marathon. Let the grind continue. Uh, inshore lizard fish, huh? Inshore lizard fish. Two of them on a subsurface lure. You see, that's another reason why I really like this Euro Tackle box, right? This one has touched the salt. You just plug it in right there. Look at that. Look at that. Do a perfect fit. Pow! Just like that. 
the salt is not going to contaminate any of the other lures now obviously you gotta remember which one touched the salt right <laughs> so that later you can wash it back at home if you put all of your jerk baits together and everything together and it touches the salt you know what is going to happen dude it's going to rust you know it's going all your lures are going to go to basura my man so yeah there's that all right i'm gonna switch from a z spender to a Z cranker thread fin shed. Z spender is more subsurface. Z cranker dives a little bit more. Maybe if we just cast around this area, right? And let it dive a little bit more. Some different species are going to show up. We will see. Z cranker thread fin shed. I just broke my PB largemouth bass on the Z cranker thread fin shed just yesterday, right? Five pounds. 5.29 pounds so bigger than a five pounder man hopefully today is going to do me wonders too that's right man z cranker you never know you cast some eurotaku stuff out here dude salt or fresh water bro you just never know let's get to grinding oh my lord dude What was that? Something attacked my Z cranker, dude. Oh, and I missed it. And it was something of considerable size, too. I'm a little bit disappointed in myself now. I don't know what it was, though. But holy smokes, it darted for the Z cranker, bro. Oh, man. Crap. I missed it, too, dude. Okay, that's beautiful. One tiny piece of shrimp. This actually may still be a little bit too big for the Moharas over there. While I was running the Z Cranker, I saw a whole school of Moharas over there on the left side. And needless to say, first, I don't know what type of Moharas they are. And second, they are the perfect live bait. They are right around this area. So I'm going to tanago it up and see if I can pull one or two of them to live line it. got one sir yes sir as easy as that because when you are a micro angler son when you are a micro angler you catch your own bait man what type of mohara is this oh jenny it's a jenny mohara eosinostomus gula which by the way after i take a photo of it is going directly on that rod right over there also while i was catching this mohara i think i saw a snapper come out of the little hole over there about this big i don't know what a species of snapper it is. so i'm gonna go back there but hey one step one step at a time oh that's a snapper right there Come on, snapper. It's a piece of shrimp, dude. Get it, boy. He's looking at it. He's looking at it. Look at it. Realize it's good food. Got him. Dude, this is hard, huh? To even catch the snappers here. Unbelievable. Dude, caught one Mohara. Mohara boated on me. I had to catch the little snapper because I don't have this snapper this year yet. I think this is a juvenile mangrove snapper, aka gray snapper. Yeah, like 95% positive and there's a new one for 2023 too because I don't even know how I haven't caught these dudes yet. I've been to Florida so many times this year. But yeah, let's take a shot of it. In the bucket you go. Fascinating, isn't it? You come to a spot like this and there's like all pink fish out there. You don't realize it at the beginning. But there are a lot of different species of fish just hiding like right here you see that oh there's another snapper right there you see that there's another snapper right there they love hiding right under the oysters over here fascinating how we kind of picked the one spot with the shadow over here inside the bucket huh to kind of guess camouflage itself don't you wish you had one of these in your fish tank if you have a saltwater fish tank pretty darn cute huh with the patterns and everything Lutianus griseus. All right, let's throw it in the clear water. 
This place is called clear water for a reason, right? Ooh, slowly swimming back. <laughs> Actually, if it kind of makes sense now, clear, <laughs> clear water. It is very clear. I'll tell you that it's very clear. Oh man, no bites on the live mohara, but at least the pink fish, they don't get the live mohara. I think I'm going to punch the oysters a little bit more over here. It's, it's getting time for lunch. I'm gonna punch the oysters a little bit more over here, see if anything different shows up. But hey, that gray snapper, another species for 2023. Man, can you believe this? You folks didn't really get to see in this video, but this is the third, the third Mohara that I've been soaking down there, live line. The whole thing, you know, 30 pounds floral leader, free line down there, you know, dude, not a single decent fish has shown up this morning. You know what I need? You know what I need right now? I'll tell what I need. I need myself some clear water fish tacos, man. That's what I need. One good thing that I remember from back in the days when I came here with my ex-wife was that clear water had some banging tacos, man. If you ever come over here, dude, they got this rock fish taco. Dude, I don't even know what kind of fish is in there. I just know that it is banging and that I need that for my lunch. You feel me? I'll tell you all something though, man. If the mountain doesn't come to, what was the name of the dude again? If the mountain doesn't come to uh, Muhammad, Muhammad's gonna go to the mountain, man. I'm gonna have myself some lunch, but after I have that lunch, I'm gonna come back over here, walk all around this area, and I'm gonna cast lures only, man. Because if the live bait ain't working, and there's a gazillion of bean fish down there, Oh man, we need to start walking, covering water, lures only, you feel me? Get that Z spender going. Hopefully we're going to land a schnook by the end of the day, ah. But this is it for this video though. As you folks saw, we were all around the place for this video. We started with some live bait, we shifted to lures, then we did some micro fishing, because this is how you add the species, right? To the 2023 species marathon i believe that we passed 130 now we're going towards 140 i'll see you all next time time for some lunch tie lines thanks for watching and take it easy